this way. Personnel is policy. Donald Trump is the president. But what matters are those who will be staffing him at the Undersecretary of State for Africa level, at the National Security Council, in the Pentagon. That is who need, and in, I'm sorry, also in the Senate Foreign Relations Committee separately. That is who needs to be lobbied if the Biafrans are going to convince the United States. Quite frankly, American attention right now is on China, it's on Russia, it's on Israel. It behooves the Biafrans to make sure that Biafra gets the headlines for the right reasons. If I may, and this isn't an either or, the Somalilanders have been at this for years and have made tremendous strides. You can jump over much of the preliminary work they have done to make your case. And given the Biafran diaspora in the United States, given the talent, given how vocal they are, they are going to be your ambassadors. And so I do think it is possible that the United States will eventually see the light. Frankly, I don't think it's possible to go backwards. But as Winston Churchill once said, the United States always does the right thing. They just try everything else first. It's important to get through that process much quicker. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Sister Dominica Oleuna from Olo State. Okay. okay. I want to take it to him. Thank you. I'm sorry, I wanted, to stay, I wanted to stay down because I thought I was very tall, but uh, let me climb up here. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Biafran government in exile for bringing Ambazonia team here today. This is a wonderful opportunity. My legs are shaking, and uh, I want to say it's a pleasure to have met and listened to uh, Mr. Michael. Uh, Mr. Michael uh, to, uh, in fact, I don't just know, I'm, I'm pumping out, and I want to make him to understand that uh, Biafra and Ambazonia are seismic queen. Oh, I'm seeing him here. I was looking there. All right. Ah, hello. Yeah, they are seismic twin. And I just want to ask you if you've also made some research on the genocide. Uh, La Republic du Cameroon is emitting in Ambazonia with the Scotch Earth policy, burning of villages, amputation, burning of fathers and mothers in the houses. And uh, if that is done, that would be a very, very great thing for me to take home today and help you for. Thank you very much. Um, I am aware of the situation. I'm aware of the fighting between the Francophones and the Anglophones. I'm aware, based on the Cameroonian community in the United States, in Washington, D.C., who say uh, and describe how much of a police state it is as soon as they land in the country, how they're afraid to go back. I've been in, um, I, I've, I've listened to phone calls um, that people have put on speakerphone to hear about the situation back home. So I am aware of the situation. Aside from a brief airport layover in Douala, I've never actually been to Cameroon. Um, and I would hope to be able to write more about it in the future. Um, the closest I have gotten is to the Central African Republic. Um, but look, without doubt, th this is my frustration with the United States. Africa is the second most um, populous continent. It is, when I look at the economy of Africa, largely, the fact of the matter is Africa is the continent of the 21st century. And I find it shameful the difference between the rhetoric of the United States and the reality of our policy. 
we should not be ignoring Africa anywhere. And that means not only the good news stories, but also the problems, such as what's happening in Northern Cameroon. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, please, do you still have time for a few more questions? A lot of... Of course I do. Okay, thank you. You are. Good day, Michael. Good day. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. My name is Dr. Ngozi Orobweze. I am the Chief of Staff to the United States of Biafra. I thank you for your comments. Don't really have any question for you because what you've said is what any sensible, decent human being would say. But I just want to use this opportunity on behalf of my Prime Minister, our Prime Minister, Simon Eber, to thank you for standing up for Biafra. Please continue to do what you're doing for us. Biafrans and generations unborn will be very, very kind to you. That's all I need to say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and I pray that we will be able to see him in person soon. Thank Free from finished prison. Thank you.